We love getting feedback from you guys and what I've been hearing a lot of is merchant fulfilling and creating those shipping templates. So that's what this video is all about. But first, if you're new here, I'm Cassandra with Profit Guru, and right here on this channel, each and every week, I am coming to teach you how to sell on Amazon and how to scale those businesses. So if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. We really appreciate your feedback and it really helps to guide us on our future videos to cater them to exactly what you need. So leave me that comment down below, letting me know what you would like to see next. All right, let's talk about merchant fulfilling. Now, not all products, like I'm going to show you in a minute, they're not all good listings for merchant fulfilling, but there are certain times of the year when merchant fulfilling is better than doing Amazon FBA and sending it to the warehouse. Now with merchant fulfilling, you are the warehouse. You're keeping track of the inventory and when an order is placed, you are going to go in and process that order, package it, and ship it off. Now the first thing you have to understand is that merchant fulfilling does consume a lot of your time. And Amazon is really strict when it comes to these metrics. If you are late with your delivery and all of those different metrics of satisfying these orders on time, your account health will take hits. So never merchant fulfill if you don't have the time to satisfy that demand. If someone places an order and you have to have it out in two days, you best have that out in two days because your late delivery rate, that can really, really hurt your Amazon health metrics. But there are some times of the year when it is a really good idea to merchant fulfill. Those times consist of when the Amazon warehouse gets really overpacked. And as we all know, if you're familiar with selling on Amazon, depending on which Amazon warehouse your products are going to, it might take a week to get those all counted in and into your inventory, but it might take three to four weeks. So during these busy seasons like Q4, right before Christmas, or back to school time, when all of these holidays are happening, you're going to find a lot of in-demand products that they will not get checked into the inventory in time if you send to FBA. In that case, it's better off for you to hold those products, merchant fulfill them, and ship them out as they coming in. And merchant fulfilling is really not all that hard. So let me walk you right through it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, how you can find these products, how you can just use your phone in store and start putting these products into your inventory while you're still scanning in the store and then start making orders off of it. Then I'll show you how to quickly and easily set up those shipping templates. So stick with me until the end because if you're curious on how to merchant fulfill, you're not going to want to miss this video. See if merchant fulfillers are even getting the sales on the product. So let's look at this Kraft Spaghetti Classics, for example. I can get this at Walmart very easily for less than $2 a box. So if I was in store scanning with my app, I picked up this spaghetti and scanned it, saw that I was on gated and saw that it went for a price that I could sell it for and make a profit, then I would want to list it in my account and boom, I can start making sales right there while I'm still standing in Walmart. You can list it right on your phone, and then while you're still shopping, have sales start coming in. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's say I'm in Walmart, and I found this product. For three of them, it was only $3, and it's selling for between $12.73 and $14.25, so I know I can make profit on it. What I want to do is come down to Keepa, go to that data and the buy box statistics, and I'm checking right here. I'm seeing which model is getting the sales. In the past 30 days, I can see a check for every single one of these sellers under FBA. That means that in the last month, every seller that got the sale, that won that buy box, was an FBA seller. That's a huge indicator to me that merchant fulfilling this item is not a good idea. The merchant fulfiller is not winning the buy box. Let's go out to 365 days and it looks about the same. In a year, there's only one seller here who won the buy box that was merchant fulfilling it on their own. And they won it less than 1% of the time. So Amazon has been on this listing too, but the main seller who's winning it with 91% of the sales is this seller. Although there's still room for you to come in and make some sales, but I wouldn't personally want to merchant fulfill it because the data is saying merchant fulfill sellers aren't getting the sales. 
But let me pull that ace in and show you what you would do if the data shows you, yes, merchant fulfilled sellers are getting the sales, you wanna sell this. So in that case, you would take the ace in from the listing. In your seller central account, we're going to catalog and add products. Aced, select the condition, and then here's the listing. I'm going to fill this out and then within 15 minutes of me submitting it, it's going to be active and people can start buying my products. So how I fill this out, the first thing that I do right here is I choose, yep, I'm going to ship this myself in Merchant Fulfill. The condition is new. I'm going to put right here how many boxes I have available. My price, I can see the lowest price is $12, so maybe I'm going to set mine to $12.50, be right around it and be competitive. Then I'm just making sure, yes, it has it in the American marketplace. That's how much I'm listing it for. Now something else I'm going to want to do here is go to all attributes because I want my shipping template to come up. So right here is where I choose my shipping template and you make these. So you get to choose how much you want the customers to pay for shipping or if you want to offer them free shipping. So in Q4, I had a template set up for that. Here's my free shipping template when I don't want them to have to pay shipping. So you make different templates and then you have to decide here which template are you using for shipping. Are you going to pay for it or are you making the customer pay for it? And the other stuff you really don't have to worry about. Just make sure that you have your template up there, that it's merchant fulfilled, you have your quantity. And then boom, right here, I'm going to click save and finish and with in 15 minutes, it's going to be active and I'm going to start seeing sales come in. But again, not all listings are good for merchant fulfilling. So you're going to want to check that buy box first and make sure merchant fulfilled sellers are actually winning the sales. To create your shipping templates, you're going to come to your Seller Central account right up here to the gear and go down to shipping settings. All the templates that you have made are going to be here on the left and then you can hit create new shipping template to make a new one. So we're going to create a new shipping template. Now you're choosing where it's shipping from, so it'll just have your name and address here, and then next. And we are automating the non-prime shipping settings. Now here's where I'm going to choose the different carriers that I prefer. So for me, I like to go to USPS. So I'm going to offer first class, priority mail, and then for FedEx, we're going to do ground. Just be careful when you're choosing these that you're not doing anything like offering overnight shipping or a next day if you're not actually able to satisfy that. And then I don't usually put anything here for the premium. So next, it's going to have me confirm the different methods that I chose. Now right here, you're going to name your shipping template so you know which one it is because you're probably going to have several of them. And then for the rate model, I always choose the per item weight based one because the heavier an item is, the more it's going to cost for you to pay for that shipping anyways. So if I didn't want to offer free shipping on this template and this was a template I used when I wanted to make the customer pay for it, I'm going to on toggle free. And now right here for our standard shipping, I'm going to set up how much I wanna make them pay for the shipping. So we might do $4.99 per order and then 99 cents per pound. Now what I've found is even if I'm shipping to the other side of the country, as long as that item is less than a pound, it typically costs me under $5 to ship it. But as soon as that item gets to be more than a pound, even one pound, five ounces, then that shipping usually doubles. So you really want your items to be small. And that's something that I I used to determine if I want a merchant fulfill an item to begin with. If it's not something that's under a pound, unless it has a lot of profits or I'm making the customer pay for shipping, then I don't usually offer it on the free template. And then for the expedited, you want to offer a little more for that. And now down here for two day delivery and one day delivery, do not select these unless you are able to fulfill that. So if I said one day delivery and somebody placed an order and I didn't get it out until after the next day, I'm going to get in trouble for doing that. So do not choose these options unless you're actually able to get them out very quickly. So maybe I didn't want to do the one day. I'm going to on toggle that. Then I would save it. And now that's all that there is to setting up your shipping template. And then when you go and list your merchant fulfilled items, just like I showed you at the beginning of the video, you will choose which template you want to use. So set up a few of these. You might even have them region based. Figure out how much it costs you to ship to each region and then make a different shipping template based on each region. So you might have one for the West Coast, one for the East Coast, one for the South, and then you might have one for free shipping. Pull up your Amazon seller app on your phone and you can list products right from the store. In the upper right hand corner, click the square with the circle inside it to scan the products. You can scan the barcodes, but if that doesn't pull up anything, then you can scan the front of the product. Let's scan these cups. Now I want to look through all of these listings and find the listing that matches the product exactly. 
Click on it and now we see all of the info. At the top left, it shows me the BSR. This is currently ranked 43,000 in the kitchen category and I see it has five stars and 139 ratings. Below the image is the current low price offered and the fees. Next is the number of sellers, and then the eligibility will have a green check mark if you can sell it. Let's click right below the image at the low price so we can see the revenue calculator. Right now it's set to Amazon fulfillment, so we see $3.15 in Amazon fees and $8.31 in fulfillment fees. But to change this, we're going to click Amazon fulfillment and change it to your fulfillment. Now we see that the $8.31 in fulfillment charges are gone. Next, enter in how much you're paying for the goods, and your profit is how much your proceeds will be on each sale. To list this, let's go back and on the bottom right hand corner, we'll select list. First, we will enter the quantity we have to sell. For your price, enter how much you paid for the product. And for sale price, enter the amount you're listing this to sell for. Select the offer condition and merchant fulfilled as the channel. And now we'll come down to choose the shipping template we want to use. That's all there is to it. Save and finish and start making sales right from the store. Now, if you want free shipping supplies like poly mailers or bags, if you go to usps.com, you can get all of those for free. But keep in mind that if you select USPS as your shipping model, that's the only way you can use their products. So you can't select FedEx and then use a USPS box. But if you plan on using USPS to begin with, then you can get all those products for free. Now, when you get orders, you're going to go to your Amazon seller account and up in the corner are those three little hamburgers. You're going to click on that, go to orders, and then click on manage orders. From there, you're going to be able to see all of your merchant fulfilled orders that you need to fulfill super easy. You're going to click on the order. Then when you click on buy shipping, there will be a few different options that pop up for you. Typically what I do is just choose the cheapest one. Once you confirm that shipping, then you print it out, package up that item, put the label on it that it prints out and bring it to the respective place you're supposed to. It really is that easy. But like I said, this is time consuming. So if somebody places an order and you clicked overnight for that shipping template, you best be able to get that process, print that shipping label and get it to the USPS or FedEx, whatever it is on time. Especially thinking about all of these holiday seasons, back to school, Q4, Halloween, you can make a ton of money utilizing merchant fulfilling. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you weren't comfortable with merchant fulfilling, that now you are. Especially seeing how you can be scanning those products in store, find something that is worth value reselling, add it to your inventory while you're standing right there in Walmart and start making orders while those products are still in your cart. I hope this was helpful and as always, I'll catch you in the next video.